We begin with that Fox 6 exclusive. A St. Francis man is arrested after investigators say he attacked a police officer. That attack happened after he was tased and taken to a hospital. Fox 6 is actually serious his life with the common household item he allegedly used as a weapon. Yeah, ben, investigators say Eric Cop became aggressive with police when he was taken to this hospital. Things escalated when he used a fluorescent light bulb as a weapon. This place is not that type of vibe. It, it, things don't get out of hand here. The neighborhood bar is a normally quiet spot in St. Francis. We are lucky to have not had to deal with that before. But last Tuesday, investigators say one patron got out of hand. Shock. Um, I had known this customer before. We never had any problems with him. Prosecutors say 27-year-old Eric Kopp became unruly with a bartender. He was asked to leave, but refused. He sat back and told me he wasn't going anywhere. So at some point, he got over the, leaned over the bar in my face. Investigators say he lunged at Michelle Caesar. She called police. When they arrived, the situation escalated. He was fighting three of them, and eventually they were, they told him they were going to chase him. According to a criminal complaint, cop was tased and taken to the hospital. There, he locked himself in a bathroom where he began to shout, and officers heard the sound of breaking. When police opened the door, they say cop was holding a fluorescent light bulb, like a baseball bat. He swung at officers, striking one of them in the arm and face. He was eventually cuffed again. Something that was out of my comprehension. Cop now faces time behind bars for what unraveled in this one. I would like to see him get the help that he needs. And that officer suffered pain to his face, either from the glass shattering or the chemicals within this light bulb. Now, cop has been charged with disorderly conduct, resisting arrest, and battery to an officer. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Ashley Sears, Fox 6 News. Yeah, you can just see by how you're holding it how dangerous that could become. Ashley, thank you.